one of the um, of the women came to visit from outside, and then she said, uh, "We went to a restaurant." And then she said, "You women, what are you doing here in this area? Just sitting in the in at home and giving birth to children?" I said, "We give birth to children. We teach them. We work outside. Outside. We work inside. We do everything." So yeah, this. <laughs> I think a lot of times, I don't know if that person was from North America, but a lot yeah. of times in North America, the perception is that... She was English. Is, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, she's English. The perception here is that women are more oppressed, that women don't have a voice. Uh, what makes you cry, Shakira? What makes you cry about it? The bad idea. Bad idea? About our women. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I think the media gives the impression that the women here are not as strong as they are. Yeah, they are, they are very strong. They are very well educated. And when I say this, the Muslims and Christians, very, and they have the uh, high positions. They are influential. And at home, they, high, they have the, the last word. But our uh, Eastern men, they say, no, 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 we don't have, the, the women don't have, no, they have the last word and the first word. I tell you the truth. And even in the rural societies and in the villages, uh, yeah, they have the, they are the, the decision makers and they are very powerful. But to the outer world, uh, it doesn't show. It shows that the man, and they don't have a voice. Well, some of the women don't have a voice, but nowadays, I think most of them have a real voice and a strong voice. So um, I want to change this idea to the outer world about our women. It was easy for me to start the program. It wasn't difficult because uh, when I was a priest's wife, I lived with the ladies. I lived with them in Haifa because we were in Haifa, three times in Ramallah, one time in Jerusalem. So I already, I knew that, I know the ladies, I knew them. I, I, uh, I know the earlier generation, their mothers, their mother-in-laws, you know, their, their children, their married children. So it wasn't uh, hard for me to start. And I knew already, in my mind, their, their needs, the needs of the women. So their needs for me became the goals. The short-term goals, uh, we are achieving them in every occasion, in every conference, in every workshop we do, we are achieving them. For example, uh, praying together is a short-term goal. Uh, beating their shyness also is a short-term goal. Uh, how to express themselves, how to, uh, let's say, um, to, uh, to impress others. In their speech and in their body language, we started from the basics, from the beginning. Now we are building over them, like uh, leadership training, uh, um, building their skills, uh, how, to be, um, how, to be, how to be useful in their churches, and in their work, and in their families, and in their societies. We are looking at the diocese as a whole. Women, uh, priests, uh, churches. Um, yeah, even, even the road to the Babdi, now it's becoming familiar. The road to Nablus is becoming familiar. In the earlier times, when I was a priest's wife, I knew nothing. And nobody tried to, to, to bring us together. And I didn't have the, the power or the, the, um, the post to say, let's go to the bad day, let's, let's, let's go to, to Jordan to make a conference. I didn't have this, this, um, this post, yes. Uh, so we, I used as a priest wife to work by myself with my ladies. Sometimes with Jerusalem, just to visit from Ramallah to Jerusalem. But otherwise, no, no priests and no congregations. 
my dream is that all the voices of women should be united in one because uh, Arab women by themselves here, Palestinians, still they are weak. Jewish women, still they are weak. Muslims are weak. When we unite our voices, Muslim, Muslims, Christians, and Jews, and we talk to the whole world as mothers, mothers concerned about the uh, future of our children and about peacemaking, about uh, sharing the land, living together. This is the time when our voices will be heard and we will make a difference and a change, I hope.